morning, students. Good morning, ma'am. How are you doing today? I am fine. Okay. Today this is your English class, and I'm going to teach you some concepts of grammar. The last time we have done the parts of speech, and we have completed it very well. And today our uh, topic, I have taken the uh, two components that are subject as predicate, and another one is phrase and clause. Most of the time you have experienced in the sentence, you read about the subjects and predicate, but you don't know how to differentiate among these words. Subject and predicate and phrase and clause. These are the most important part of the sentence making. And sometimes when you read the sentence, you must identify what is the subject and what is the predicate now. So, uh, I would like to tell you about the uh, definition of subject. It's about who or what sentence is about. The subjects tell us about the person. It tells us about the thing for which we are talking about. So, this thing is about the thing. For example, we are talking about Noor is a good boy. So, in this sentence, Noor is a subject. Noor is called a subject. Then I have written some examples. Ali is doing well. So, Ali is called a subject. So, Lahore is a famous city. So, Lahore, in this sentence, Lahore can be considered a uh, subject. So, subject, it can be a person, it can be thing or place for which we are talking about. And it can be, you can tell about the person or thing who or what sentence is about. About who, the whole sentence is about that person. So, this is called the subject. We understand? Yes. 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 <laughs> yes. Tell, uh, tell us some example of predicate. Okay. Uh, first of all, I would like to tell you what's the predicate. Predicate about subject is doing. In the sentence, we will talk about some action. Some work is going to be done. So that part of the sentence, that is called a predicate about the subject. What subject is doing. So, Sana has completed her work. So, in this sentence, completed her work, has completed her work, that is the predicate. And in other example, they have made mistake, have made mistake, that is the predicate. Rest part of the sentence, uh, excluding subject. Excluding means, when you subject ko nikal dete hai, and for which we are talking about the subject. Subject ke baare mein jo bhi baat ho rahi hoti hai. In Urdu I can say that is the predicate. Is it clear? Yes. Yes. Okay. Alright. So I would like to explain about the phrase. So uh, that is the group of the words in, the, in sentence. You can say the group of the words that have the subject, that has the verb, that also has the predicate, but it also gives the sense, but it doesn't have the complete uh, meaning. You can say Humpty Dumpty sat on a wall. Thank you for it. Okay. Now I would like to tell you about the phrase. Phrase is a group of words that doesn't have a verb, it doesn't have the subject or no predicate at all. Uh, it doesn't uh, mean that it doesn't give the complete sense. It gives the complete sense, but the sentence is not the complete. Humpty Dumpty sat on a wall. Two and two makes four. Boys playing. It doesn't, uh, it gives the sense, but sentence is not complete. No subject, no predicate and no verb is included in this area. So that is called a phrase. Okay. So ma'am, please uh, may I ask questions? Yes. Okay. Okay. Now we are talking about the clause. Clause is a group of words that contains a subject. It also contains a predicate and verb is also there. So that is the complete sentence and it also gives the complete sense. So you can understand that all the components of grammar, they are there. I am walking on the road. Please, you should not 
play outside so these are the examples here you can see the subject is there the verb is there and the predicate is there so it giving the complete uh, sense of the sentence all the grammar components are included there so students if you have any question you can ask in the next time we have some other